operator is a math operator that's a partial derivative. So it's symbolized by the nabla, this upside down triangle. So you have the derivative in the x, the derivative with respect to y, the derivative with respect to z, and then notice that you have the unit vectors that match each of those, the i, j, and k. And what it does is it shows how the rate of the values of a vector or a scalar change with the position that it's in. So three things that can happen. The first is divergence. It's similar to a dot product. So you have the del operator and a function that produces a scalar value. So this del times the function of v. I would take the derivative in each direction, add them all up, and I end up with a scalar value. An example of this would be Gauss's law for electricity. So you have del of the electric field. It'll give you the charge density with the constant and ultimately tell you how much charge is inside that defined area. The gradient is the second thing that can happen. It's similar to a scalar multiplication, so the vector operator on a scalar function, but it produces a vector. So whenever we take the del times the function, notice that we have our unit vectors in front because it keeps it as a vector value then uh, once you take the derivatives of that. So it shows where the rate will increase the fastest. An example of this might be heat. So the del with respect to the temperature will give us the heat flow or the gradient for that. Uh, another example would be if you're hiking, so it'll tell you, like, you have the steepest slope, you'd hike up the steepest slope, find the next gradient, which will be the steepest slope, and eventually you end up at the top of the mountain. The curl is the third thing that can happen, and it is similar to a cross product. So the del operator on a vector function produces a vector product. So here it is in matrix form, so notice that you have your i, j, and your k. It'll give you each of those values, and then this is in determinant form. And what it does is it tells you the tendency uh, to rotate. So the Maxwell-Faraday equation is an example of this, where you have the electric field and the magnetic field, and it shows you that tendency of the magnetic field to rotate.